For many years, I was searching for a comprehensive guide to soft toy design. When I first started sewing stuffed animals, I really wanted to learn how to design my own sewing patterns, but that book just didn't exist. I searched everywhere, even vintage books, new books, magazine articles. So I taught myself and gleaned information from all of those sources and lots of trial and error. And all of these years later, I just feel so thrilled to be the person to write that book. I love a lot of things about making stuffed animals. One of the things I love about it is the materials are pretty humble. You don't need a lot of fabric to make a great stuffed animal. It doesn't need to be expensive fabric. I kind of love that sort of thrifty craftiness about it. I also love thinking in three dimensions. It is really cool to see paper pattern pieces fit together like a jigsaw and create a three-dimensional form. It's just amazing and challenging and it's sort of endlessly interesting to me. And I also love that when you start with a pile of fabric and you end up with a creature sitting on your desk, it's like it's got a little personality and it has, especially once you add the eyes and the mouth and it's sitting there smiling at you. The moment when you take that toy and give it to a child and their eyes light up and they know that you made it just for them, with them in mind. It's just a wonderful feeling and seeing them drag it around the house by the ear and, um, and snuggling it at night, and it's just really um, heartwarming. Following each pattern, there are lessons that break down how that pattern was constructed. I really go into the why and explain, okay, the reason that this piece is curved outward is because it's going to create this particular kind of bulge here or the reason there's a dart is to pull the legs inward here so that the, the animal will stand up. The reason that I organized the book this way is not just so that you can sew my lion, but so you can take your idea of your own lion or your own animal and apply these particular construction techniques to make your idea come to life. And that is the coolest part of this book.